A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Since the Passover of the Jews was near, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. He found in the temple area those who sold oxen, sheep, and doves, as well as the money changers seated there. He made a whip out of cords and drove them all out of the temple area with the sheep and oxen and spilled the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. And to those who sold doves, he said, Take this out of here and stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples recalled the words of scripture, Zeal, for your house will consume me. At this, the Jews answered and said to him, What sign can you show us for doing this? Jesus answered and said to them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews said, This temple has been under construction for forty-six years, and you will raise it up in three days? But he was speaking about the temple of his body. Therefore, when he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they came to believe the scripture and the word Jesus had spoken. While he was in Jerusalem for the Feast of Passover, many began to believe in his name when they saw the signs he was doing. But Jesus would not trust himself to them because he knew them all and did not need anyone to testify about human nature. He himself understood it well. The Gospel of the Lord Jesus replaces the temple. The cleansing of the Jerusalem temple is recorded in all four Gospels. In John's Gospel, it is one of Jesus' first public acts, whereas the other Gospel place it at the end of Jesus' ministry. John may have placed the scene at the beginning to establish the fulfillment or replacement theme early, as this is an important motif in the fourth Gospel. In this scene, the action of Jesus is not merely one of cleansing but of replacement. The temple authorities rightly see Jesus as a threat to the temple and what it stands for, and so they question Jesus' authority to disrupt the activities of the temple. The replacement theme can be understood only in the light of Jesus' death and resurrection, not at the moment when he declares, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The narrator comments, he was speaking about the temple of his body. When he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered. The function of sacrifice associated with the Jerusalem temple is fulfilled by Jesus. The sacrificial worship is replaced by his own death, which becomes a fragrant offering to God and which takes away the sins of the world. The temple is a place where God made this glory dwell. Jesus' promise of the new temple suggests that the glory of God would be manifested not in the building but in a person. And God's glory, first and foremost, dwells in Jesus himself. <music>